Hi guys, we will proceed to our next structure in the repetition control structure which is the do-while structure or what we call do-while loop. So when we say do-while loop, basically um, it creates a loop that executes or evaluated an, a, a condition or a specified statement until the test condition evaluates to false. Okay. So the condition itself is evaluated after executing the statement. So it will be evaluated first before executing the, um, the condition. So all the statements will be um, executed first before it will go to the condition. Okay, It's resulting in the specified statement executing at least once. So if we will compare do while to while loop and while loop, it executes first the condition okay condition first then the statements inside the curly brace in the do while loop can um, execute first the statements inside the curly braces in the do before it will have a um, before it will continue with the condition right so if you will notice as well in the syntax of do while, um, you can see that the while uh, here, the do, then curly braces, all the states, uh, all the statements are here, then the while, then you can put the Boolean expression or the condition here, then don't forget to include the semicolon. Okay, so if you can see the flowchart here of the um, of the do while loop. Basically, it executes first the um, it executes first the process block before it will go to the condition before it will loop. Right? If the condition is true, it will go to the process block. And if the condition, the result of the condition is false, it will go and terminate the program. But again, it really depends on the problem or the program itself. Let's proceed with our examples. Example number one. So let the variable i has a value of zero. So do it actually, um, it printed or it displays first zero, then i plus plus or zero plus one, the i right now becomes one, right? Then while zero, it's less than or equal to five. And it will loop, loop, and loop. So let's try to execute this one in our Visual Studio code. One moment. So HTML, HTML again. I will save this first. Do while example. Sorry. Okay, example. Sorry. One dot HTML. So script here. Okay, so let, if you can see here, uh, we will let the user input, okay? So, for example, for this number 5, we will let this one to be input, okay? So, let i equals 0, then let input equals window dot prompt. Prompt. Then enter a value. After entering a value, we will now put the do here. Then don't forget the curly braces. Then we will put the statements inside. So docu uh, documented, right? Then basically here, we only display the i. Then we will increment the i, which is i plus plus. Then in after the do here, we will put the while. Then condition inside this parenthesis. So i it's less than or equal to um, the input. There you go. If we will try to, um, to run this code, one moment. I will try to run this code. Okay, one moment, guys. I will put it here. Okay, here. If I will input 6, there you go. So it executed 
or it printed or it displayed 0 going to 6. But since this is not a quite good display, I need to put BR. There you go. And run the code again. Six. There you go. Okay. But if you want to start with one, all you need to do again is to change the I or the counter to one. Sorry. There. Put six. It started with one. It ended with the number six because it ended with number six because of the equal sign here okay let's have another example for this one so let the i um the i now has a value of one then do here we actually incremented the value of i then display the value of i here then still the same but this is actually the same however uh, we incremented it first before it displayed the value of the i. And as well, we changed the i here to 1 instead of the 0 here above. Also, there is no equal sign here. Okay? We also have another example for this one. So, var count, the count here has a value of 0. Then, starting loop. Basically, this is only for displaying. Then inside the do, we will, of course, we will display the count 0 or the current count is 0. Then we incremented it by 1. Actually, this is actually the same just like what we did earlier. But there is something like this. All you need to do is just to copy that example. Enter a value. Then here in the last part, um, loop, stop. This is outside already in our loop. I will run that code. And I will go back here. So I'll put here 6. There we go. Starting loop, loop stopped. Starting loop, then I'll put here something like that. Um, six again. There you go. Okay. Okay. I also have two more examples for you. Okay. First thing that you need to do, this is actually the same, just like what we did in the while loop where we added all the x or the value of x and we get actually the sum of the x. Right now, I will use do while. Okay. So how to do it? So... Um, HTML again. Close the HTML. I will save it first. Do while example two. Dot HTML. Again, um, I will be sharing all my files um, in our class in our Google Classroom. Okay. First things first. So I will let the X become one. Aside from that. Of course, I need to put sum. Then, I will let the user input something. So, I created a input variable. Then, enter a value. Okay. After that, I'll put here the do. Sorry. Okay. Inside the do. This should be the statement, the document that write x is like that. Then I will call the value of the x. Then I will um, do the br. Semicolon. After that, I will now use the sum, which is actually the same, just like what we did earlier. Sum. Mm -hmm. And the x. This is actually similar to um, sum equals sum plus x. Okay? Take note on that one. And this time, I will now increment the value of my x. So, x plus plus or x plus 1. And don't forget to put the while here. Then, semicolon after the parentheses. So, 
inside the parenthesis, the condition, it should be x, um, it should be less than or equal to the input. Uh -huh. There you go. There you go. So, uh, I'm done with that. Then, I also would like to make sure that I also displayed the sum here. So, the sum is, uh, the sum of x is, I'll call the value of sum, or I'll call the value of variable sum. Then, that's it. I will try to run the code. One moment. Okay, here we go. One moment. Okay, here. Mm -hmm. One moment. I will input on um, 7. So, enter. So, x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 plus, a uh, 1 plus 2, it's 3. 3 plus 3. Um, it's 6, 6 plus 4, it's 10, 10 plus 5, it's 15, 15 plus 6 is 21, 21 plus 7, it's 20. So the answer, well, actually, wh what we did, it's actually correct. Okay? There you go. Last example, which is actually the same as what we did in our while loop, um, the asterisk or the star or asterisk pattern but what I did here or what uh, what I will do here it's basically the do while approach okay so I will create a new file again HTML I will save it then do while example 3 dot HTML okay here inside that one I'll put the script. Oh, sorry. I'll put the script. There you go. Here. Uh, of course, I need to let the user input something. So, window dot prompt. Oh. Window dot prompt. Enter a value. Sorry. Enter a value. After entering a value, course I need to use the row still the same just like what we did I declared oh sorry I initialize row one then I'll put the do here inside the do um, I will put the asterisk where I will initialize asterisk equals to one then I will put the do here again there you go then document that right I will show them or I will display the asterisk then I will increment on the asterisk to 1 so plus plus there you go then here in the while condition for the do while I'll put here asterisk should be less than or equal to the row okay then in this part I will put the document that right this is actually for the um, sorry this is actually for the um, for the line break okay and I will also increment the row I als almost forgot the while here and here for the while I have the row should be less than or equal to the input. There you go. Let's try. Uh -huh, one moment. I need to run the code. Uh -huh. There we go. There. So basically here, if I will input um, 10, it will show 10 rows with 10. 10 columns okay if you're not satisfied with the asterisk actually you can change this one if you want so for example um, you want to display here the uh, one moment 
you want to display here um, the asterisk itself so all you need to do is to call the value of asterisk let's see what is the output so there you go oh you already know the exercise now sorry okay aside from the asterisk that you can put there you can actually put anything for example a um, an at or a dollar sign um, a uh, exclamation point or for example um, your favorite number which is seven for example then go back seven there deba how amazing is that 